Hey, welcome to Life with Colonel Lee. I'm Colonel Lee. Today we're taking a look at a tent that you should never buy. Don't buy this tent. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but man, it's very disappointing. Stick around. Let's see what is crappy about this tent. <laughs> style tent 4.35 pounds that's kind of heavy for a bivy style tent now let's get some measurements so we're 15 inches long by four and a half inches All right, here's the NTK Windy Bivy style tent without the rain fly. I'm telling you right now, I do not care for this tent. I don't like pole sleeves and I don't like fiberglass poles. I could have swore I read somewhere that this had fiberglass pole or uh, aluminum poles, but nope. And the zipper, the zipper is very hard to work on this thing, on that tent. So setting this up, the end of the pole went right through this netting. So we've already got a tear here, setting it up for the first time. Not liking this. So we have a roof vent here. Uh, all right, let's try it. So we have a roof vent here, but the torsion bar is sewn into the seam right here. So we're not able to use the torsion bar for this roof vent. All right. So here is the uh, NTK. They're calling it the Windy. Bivy style tent, camouflage. And we're checking this out on a windy day. I am not liking this tent, not at all. Good concept, just cheap, cheap materials. Not worth what I paid for it. I don't remember what I paid, I think it was around 50 bucks. But we're gonna take a look at this tent anyway, and uh, we're gonna be returning this tent for sure. So we have a small roof vent on the back here. And it doesn't have Velcro closure all the way across the roof vent there. There's a guy out here, here, so two on the back. It is kind of nice that you can be able to uh, guy out the sides of the vestibule there, so minimizes flapping. But look at these cheap little stakes. They're like little toothpicks. So that's pretty cheap too. Okay, so I think they're saying this uh, material is waterproof as well. All right, so here's another roof vent. So we have two on the front, kind of on the sides here. And we also have two more guy out points here. There and there. Let's 
So, the bathtub style floor is exposed quite a bit here, so I'm hoping there is uh, heat tape seams on the, or heat tape, heat taped seal, ceiling on the tape, on the seal. Good grief, let's try that again. I'm hoping there's heat tape ceiling on the seams of the bathtub style floor there. If not, and if it hasn't been treated waterproofness, it's gonna leak. I don't know, I have to look at the stats. We'll put it on the screen. All right, let's uh, open up the vestibule, see what we have here. So these materials feel very, very cheap. Uh, these zippers are very cheap. They're not YKK, they're in K something, I don't know. This. They're cheap. What is these out in there? Uh, the zippers say NTK, so that's the name brand of the temp. So. There's that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get into the tent here. Uh, we're inside the tent now. You can see I do have heat taped seams. Look at all the loose threading everywhere pretty much everywhere you look now here's a uh, pocket there's a roof vent which we're not able to really utilize that one because the torsion bar has been sewn into the seam right there the torsion bar sewn into the seam so here's a there's a roof vent over here but see how they have mesh for the roof vent they don't have mesh for the roof vent over here. That's kind of odd. Okay. Let's take a look back towards the foot, foot area. So you got a big mesh panel there with that roof vent. Those torsion bars are real flimsy. That one's just folding in half. It's really not doing anything. And we have more loose threading all over the place. Oop. So... There's a mesh up here on the top. Quite a bit of mesh on the top there. So we're not getting any airflow at all in here with these roof vents open. They're uh, useless. Just the materials they use are just they're just not working. So this is a cheap. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some measurements of this thing. So at the widest point, let's get that measurement. That's gonna be right at the shoulder area. All right, so we're at uh, 38 inches at the shoulder, and the head end at the very end, the head width is 29 inches. Let's get the foot end. So at the foot end, we are at 28 inches wide. Let's get a peak height here at the highest peak. So peak height is 27 inches high. So this is pretty typical dimensions of a uh, bivy style tent, but and I wanted this tent to do some stealth camping. And I don't know if you could tell in the time lapse when I'm setting it up. I had a 
had a great deal of difficulty setting up this tent and I had a tear in the pole sleeve with the tip of the fiberglass pole and this tent just don't even waste your time or your money on this thing this tent is going back it's very rare that I find a tent that I say that about and I try to be as honest as I can you know if some tents have some little I don't know one, one or two little things that are not really good about it I still try to give it a decent review I just don't see anything good at all about this tent other than the camo color I mean that's about it <laughs>